Another viral outbreak? Is the world ready for another bio-war? What makes the United States of America so confident in fighting the new virus? Keep watching to know more. So, along with me, I'm sure you all might also be confused about how Mr. Biden is so confident about the availability of vaccines. Oh, and also how he is so sure that there is no such requirement of quarantine. First, let me quote what he said. The USA has enough resources to fight against the outbreak of monkeypox. We do not require quarantine. Bum bum bum. In case you're wondering, that's that tense sound played in the background of every crucial scene in a soap opera. Hmm, gets me wondering how he is so well equipped with the one vaccine approved, especially for healthcare workers. Does he think himself and his country are so well off compared to others? Can't other countries afford them too? If there is an option to omit quarantine, who wouldn't want them, especially the developing countries, considering the number of losses each of them went through after the last pandemic? Uh, but before that, like, share, and don't forget, hit that bell icon. Monkeypox is a rare disease caused by infection with the monkeypox virus. Monkeypox virus belongs to the orthopox virus genus in the family Poxviridae. Orthopox virus genus also includes variola virus, which causes smallpox, vaccinia virus, used in the smallpox vaccine, and cowpox virus. Monkeypox was first discovered in 1958, when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research, hence the name monkeypox. Monkeypox cases in people have occurred outside Africa linked to international travel or imported animals, including cases in the United States and Israel, Singapore and the United Kingdom. So is this monkeypox capable of causing another pandemic? Keep watching to know more. The natural reservoir of monkeypox remains unknown. However, African rodents and non-human primates, like monkeys, may harbour the virus and infect people. That's about the virus, so what's happening now at present? Currently, in May 2022, CDC, that is the Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, are tracking multiple cases of monkeypox that have been reported in several countries that don't normally report monkeypox, including the United States. So how does one know if they have monkeypox? What are the signs and symptoms of monkeypox? In humans, the symptoms of monkeypox are similar but milder than the symptoms of smallpox. Monkeypox begins with fever, headache, muscle aches and exhaustion. The main difference between the symptoms of smallpox and monkeypox is that the monkeypox causes lymph nodes to swell, lymphadenopathy, while smallpox doesn't. The incubation period, that is the time from infection to symptoms for monkeypox, is usually 7 to 14 days, but can range from 5 to 21 days. Like any viral infection, the illness begins with fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, swollen lymph nodes, chills and exhaustion. Within one to three days, or sometimes long after the appearance of fever, the patient develops a rash, often beginning on the face and then spreading to other parts of the body. Lesions progress through the following stages before falling off. Macules, papules, vesicles, pustules, and scabs. The illness typically lasts for two to four weeks. In Africa, monkeypox has been shown to cause death in as many as one in ten people who contract the disease. So does one get the disease from animals? Transmission of monkeypox virus occurs when a person comes into contact with the virus from an animal, human, or materials contaminated with the virus. The virus enters the body through broken skin, even if it's not visible, respiratory tract, 
or the mucous membranes, the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Animal to human transmission may occur by bite or scratch, bush meat preparation, direct contact with bodily fluids or lesion material, or indirect contact like clothing, cotton, linen, etc. President Biden says monkeypox isn't a bigger threat than COVID-19 and smallpox could be. However, we don't know how many lives were perished due to smallpox. Did you know that the smallpox vaccine was the first vaccine ever invented? The world of immunization started with it. So does it mean it would take us all back again, knowing monkeypox is a very similar kind of virus? Although Biden's statement included vaccine and quarantine, doesn't it give you all deja vu with what happened in the last pandemic? So why does he think it's less of a threat? Has the USA learned how to battle any outbreak? Instead of waiting for the officials to act, let's discuss how one prevents oneself from getting the disease. If you take all the precautions you took during COVID-19, like good hand and face hygiene, using hand sanitizers, and using PPE kits when caring for patients, you are good to go. But some specifics include avoiding contact with animals that could harbor the virus. Also, avoid contact with any materials, such as bedding, that has been in contact with a sick animal or person. Isolate infected patients from others who could be at risk of infection. The US Food and Drug Administration has approved an attenuated live virus vaccine called Gineos, also known as Imavune and Imvanex. This is being used to protect and prevent healthcare workers at risk of occupational exposure to orthopox viruses such as smallpox and monkeypox. Given the benefit of the doubt that it isn't a big threat, doesn't it seem suspicious that the other countries aren't well aware of the virus and the vaccine? However, there are vaccines available for the frontline workers. Although we have all been shot with the dose to fight against smallpox, am I right? LOL. As we all know, vaccines aren't a sure shot cure for a viral or any bacterial disease. Furthermore, we have seen that even after the administration of the COVID-19 vaccine, there were still cases of people getting affected by the virus. So what did the vaccine do? The vaccine was administered to reduce the chances of comorbidities and to help boost the immune system. Looking at the statement made by Biden, it's pretty evident that he considers monkeypox to be a viral outbreak just like COVID-19. To recall that even the US considered quarantine before administering vaccines, why not now? So according to him, monkeypox is rarely identified outside Africa. So how can he calm concerns about the virus per se? Another question is about the 80 confirmed cases found worldwide, including at least 10 in the United States. So where are the other 70 cases found? I'm sure they cover other nations, so why aren't they as calm as Biden? Let me wind up by picking your brain with the question of why are there so many viral outbreaks happening across the world all of a sudden, when we know viruses have always existed from the beginning of time. Do you all feel this turning out to be a bio-war against countries? Is this the end for us? Do let us know in the comments. And if you still haven't subscribed to us, you better do it now. We don't want you to miss out on some interesting facts and info. See you soon.